you build it, they will come. You know what? After watching this movie, mainly for the first time ever since I bought it a year ago, I have to say, I fucking love this movie. Okay? Field of Dreams is a movie that was requested by Brian Mendoza. He requested this movie way back in the summer. Sorry it took so long to do it. I've just been waiting for the right time. What better time than the fall? Holiday season in the height of baseball season basketball and football why not so if I try to explain the entire plot we will be here literally all fucking night so I'm gonna try and do my the best as I can to sum it up in a few seconds okay Kevin Costner hears a voice in the in the middle of his field telling him if he would build it if he builds it they will come or he will come but we don't know who will come who he will be yet and so he builds a baseball field in the middle of this cornfield and shoeless Joe Jackson comes and speaks with them and plays ball with them and rarely other place Joe Jackson and you think it was him okay but no he finds out that he has to go find an author okay named Terrence Mann who the voice also says he needs to um, ease his pain or something like that. And you think it's Terrence Mann. It's not Terrence Mann either. Another um, clue leads him to Moonlight Graham, a f another baseball player, or a wannabe baseball player, whose dream was kind of crushed when the Dodgers went here to Los Angeles. And... I just gotta say, uh, all the while, he's being foreclosed because that field cost him almost everything they have. So now, he's going bankrupt and they could lose their farm and their house. The payoff in this movie, the fucking payoff of this movie, is so fucking bittersweet. It is amazing, okay? Now, I know what you're probably saying, but James, would you do that? Would you go do all this for that payoff? Hell yes, I will go through that for that payoff. That is something I've been wanting to happen to me for years. Okay, I, I've had so many questions, it's, it's ridiculous. And to see this person at such a young age... Probably about as young as I am right now, as I am older. I die a happy man. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I, I would die a happy man. Everybody in this movie does great. Ray Liotta, Kevin Costner. Believe it or not, this is my only Kevin Costner movie I actually own. I don't count Man of Steel because he's not really the star of Man of Steel. He's more like the co-star, so this is like my only Kevin Costner movie I actually own. So, yeah. What a way to start, right? <laughs> and I thought this movie came out in the 90s. This movie came out in 89. Holy crap, man. <laughs> how, how? It doesn't even look like it. Especially on Blu-ray, it don't look like it. It looks like an early 90s movie. The Power of the 80s. When filmmaking was good and something special. And this right here shows that they had an idea. It sounds crazy on paper and it sounds confusing if I had went through the hoops and bounds to say it. But when it's all said and done on camera, not only is it awesome and weird, <laughs> kind of weird, it, it makes sense. And you get this happy ending, and it's something I wish would happen with me. Seriously.
y'all might think I'm fucking crazy, but <laughs> no, I, I, I would want this. If I had to do that, I would do it, okay? And I don't drive. I would fucking drive just to get to this opportunity, just to get that opportunity alone. And you have to see the movie to know what I'm talking about, because, yeah, you're probably just going to think I'm just blabbering on about crazy shit, but no, I have a point. This movie has a point, and if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, all I gotta say is, if you have somebody special in your life, don't do anything stupid. Do not do anything stupid. Let me know what you guys think about Field of Dreams down below. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? I'm giving this movie an A minus. Such a great baseball movie. I would say a sports movie, but it's not really a no really sports are being played like in a big stadium or something like that. Only one scene, so I really don't count it as a sports movie. It has to be consistent throughout. So yeah, but baseball aside, greatest baseball movie I've ever seen. Seriously. So yeah. I am out.